In a constantly evolving marketplace, demand for ever cleaner manufacturing for food is exploding. It is projected that the ready-to-eat breakfast market alone will grow an additional $178 million over the next three years. In order to keep costs down for the consumer, industry is charged with the task of keeping operational costs down without sacrificing quality or safety. It's a tall order indeed, but definitely possible if decision makers are willing to step outside of their silos. So there's really two primary challenges that the industry faces. The first challenge we face is generational. We come from an older generation that was more about efficiency and price than it was so much focused on maybe quality. A generation that was really primarily focused on in-home cooking and food products. Where today we have generations that as population grows and food demand grows, we have to start producing products that are clean label, healthy, organic, sustainable, primarily grabbed on the go. And so the challenge is, is for us is to come in to help those customers identify what those trends are and where the consumer is actually going. The second biggest challenge that our customers have in the industry is what we would call siloing in their perspective field. They might not be paying attention to what's going on in the dairy industry, and there might be technologies that have been developed there that would increase the efficiency of their processing plant by 10 to 15 percent. So our focus is to partner with them so that we can show them where other efficiencies are out in other fields of manufacturing to basically be able to bring their plant to a greater efficiency. Today more than ever, the decision makers responsible for engineering in food, dairy, beverage, nutraceutical and pharmaceutical facilities are met with substantial challenges to deliver these products and unintentionally accept the limitations of the status quo because they're simply unaware of solutions that exist in a related industry. Operational engineering expert Michael DeYoung explains how to best use cross-discipline solutions for greater efficiency. Our company was able to deliver a first of its kind by reaching across to the meat processing industry to deliver a solution to the hard boiled egg industry that allowed them to meet their shelf life demands and their quality demands that they were needing to process to. I believe there's a macro challenge and then there's a series of micro challenges. The macro challenge for the food industry is we're having to supply food to a growing population. I think the numbers say 2050, we're approaching a world population of, of 10 billion people. Keeping the macro challenge in mind, then you look at your micro challenges. The millennial generation has shifted the landscape to more convenient, clean, flavorful foods. You tie that back to the macro, you need to produce those foods and those varieties in a sustainable manner, cost efficiently to get to, to the people to feed. What we've done is look at those challenges and look across the industries to see what was available in technology that would allow us to feed more people with less carbon footprint, with less um, space, with less labor requirements. Demand is only growing for products like these. And the question remains, what are decision makers doing to achieve their goals while giving consumers what they want? I started in the food industry 15 years ago. One of the biggest challenges that I had seen by being in the food industry was that there weren't many suppliers out there that were totally solution-based. I wanted to bring that partnership relationship and really sitting in the chair of my customer to help them find solutions that were based to solve their problems. We're capable of all the things from lab all the way to finished product and, and kind of a lab uh, facility handoff. So for us that might even mean building a facility from scratch or helping to refurbish an existing facility, doing the engineering, finding the equipment, new or used, installing it and um, programming it and commissioning it, kind of everything in between. When Meta Creek faces a challenge, the Young Operations Management Consulting is our first phone call because I know through their expertise and their guidance, we will find the right solutions to any challenge that we face. 
to stay ahead of the curve, kind of two ways that we approach it. One is what you would expect, which is that we do all the continuing education and stay on top of what the manufacturers are innovating and, and stay in touch with the regular four bodies, right? But the other half of it to us is the more exciting part, and that's where we get to deal with um, every single problem that a customer brings us as an opportunity to learn. And we actually actively look for the ones that haven't been able to be solved by anyone else. When they've had a challenge for a while, and nobody's been able to solve it because to us, that's the real opportunity to put on our inventor's hat and to you know, maybe bring a lower cost medicine to market or an underserved population can get access to food. So for us at the end of the day, that's where we really get our edge. That's where we really learn and it's where we're most excited to. The mission for De Young Operations Management is that we never get stagnant in our field of expertise is that we always strive to do better tomorrow than we did today. We will always continue to hire new talent, new industry experts that bring these experiences from across platform. And we will always strive to send our own employees out to the field to where that they continue to learn. We can all learn from books and desks but we also learn in the field. We learn standing beside our customers. We learn what their challenges are so that we never forget the day-to-day -day struggle that they live in, that we can continue to help make them successful. There's no challenge too big, no client too small for the experts at DeYoung. To learn more and change how you see food process, contact us today.